Hello and welcome along to our online grind sessions. My name is Gavin and I'm one of the English teachers here in the academy. I'll be walking you through guys the, the next 29 classes that we have laid out in front of us, walking us through the entire paper one and paper two for higher level English, okay? Let's have a little look in terms of, we'll just launch straight into it. So obviously we have our notes in front of us there. The first set of notes we're gonna be working off is the paper one notes. They say uh, compre uh, comprehending on the front page. So those are the ones that we're gonna be working off, okay? We obviously have two full sets of our paper one notes. You can see that are um, well over 300 pages of material. And the reason why there are over 300 pages of material is, and this is something that you'll hear me hammer on over the next number of weeks, is that, uh, again, your paper one material is worth 50% of your entire grade, okay? So it's something that we absolutely cannot neglect. You know, 12, arguably 12 weeks out of our 29 weeks will be spent on our paper one, 10 to 12 weeks will be spent on our paper one material, and then the latter stages then will be based on our paper two material. So effectively, it is so, so important that we get this right and we get it nailed on at a very early stage, okay? The first six weeks, guys, we're going to be looking at our paper one material and then we'll change it up. Week seven, which will be just before the October midterm. So obviously we have a, a seven week term ahead of us in terms of the grinds. You might have a slightly longer term in terms of the day schools, obviously depending when you've come back. But our seven week term, basically we're gonna have six weeks and we're gonna look at our, our paper one material within those six weeks and then the seventh week then we'll be on into poetry and our introduction to poetry and our introduction into our paper two material as well. So it'll give us a nice little base in terms of our paper two material, have a week off in terms of the grinds and then back into it then in terms of the term, the term leading up into Christmas, okay? In the first six weeks, guys, what we're gonna cover is Today's class and today's session, we're gonna have our introduction into basically English in terms of paper one and paper two. I recognize that we are all six years now. Having said that, we've had an inordinate break from being in fifth year all the way into sixth year. You guys have missed out on a lot of tuition. Um, so again, you've missed out in terms of that face time, that class time as well. So again, we have to go back over and we have to rehash over a lot of old ground. So week one, guys, will be our introduction into our English uh, in terms of both paper one, paper two. We'll talk a little bit about the exam, not a huge amount, because obviously the exam is very far away, but still we can have a little flirtation with that in today's class as well. Predominantly though, the main thing that we're gonna talk about in today's class is what's called our categories of language, okay? And we're gonna have a really strong introduction into our categories of language, walk our way through the acronym APAIN. You can see it on the board now. I'll walk you through the boards in a second, tell you how the classes work. But walk ourselves through that acronym and really talk about our categories of language cementing that. That'll lead us on into week two, and we'll start looking at two categories of language in detail. Same with week three. Again, we'll look at two, if not then, our final three categories of language. And then what we start to do is we start to get into the real pragmatic, nitty gritty. Then we start to get into our question A material, 12.5% of our grade, really starting to figure out how do we use all these building blocks? How do we use the first three weeks of tuition in terms of answering then our question A questions? our question B questions and on into our section two, okay? But those, those final weeks, in terms of week four and week five, we'll be very much looking at our question A questions, really cementing structure, how do we map out 12.5%, what can I do so that the examiners, when they pick up my script, they're like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for, tick, 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 again, work of coding, etc. our PCLM, these things that we'll talk about today. We'll look at that in week four and week five. In week six then what we'll do is we'll look at our question B material. And again, arguably one of the easiest things that we can do in terms of our entire leaving search is the question B. We'll look at the most common questions that tend to crop up over and over again. And we'll get really, really good at answering them. We'll look at a huge amount of exemplar material. We'll start to pick and choose little things that we can start to amalgamate within our own scripts. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll find it quite easy, I think, a lot of us at home to cement as much of that 12.5% as possible. And then, as discussed, then week seven, final week before our midterm, we'll start looking at our paper two material, introduction to poetry, introduction to unseen, uh, unseen poetry as well. All right? So, guys, that's a little overview of what to expect over the next few coming sessions. All right?